right, Shalom. I want to give all praises unto Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Right, Abi Bangai from the Sakari Seattle set. And I want to touch on this election. That's going to ha take place tonight, the so called election for that matter, because look, it's all staged. It's all, uh, what's the best word? What's the best word for it? It's all been, it's all rehearsed. Okay, that's that's the best word for this. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, anybody that's the president of the United States is not really running anything. They're puppets, and they're just told to do certain things to make themselves look like they're in charge when they're really not. Okay. Um. Anyways, you know, I want to, I'm gonna make this video very brief, but. <coughs> I want to get to the point. Now, if you be a so-called Negro, Hispanic, or North American Indian, you have no business partaking in this, this so-called election. First off, this country is not, does not view you as citizens in, of this uh, country. They really, this, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the actual people that descend from the very same people that destroy, rape, rob, pillage stole your ancestors from another land brought them over here murdered rape robbed your ancestors of this land okay okay whichever whichever one applies to you this this uh country this land these people have nothing to do with you you're three-fifths of a human being on this goddamn planet or or in america for that matter it's a lot all right and whether it be Hillary or Donald, they're going to put hell on you because they, they, they're going to put hell on you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Why? Because they view niggas as monkeys, apes, gorillas. They view, well, they view all uh, black and indigenous people as monkeys and apes. That's what they all called us, okay? But they view niggas as, as monkeys. They view spicks. You know, uh, Hispanics are spicks and beaners and and lazy people. Even though you might you, you're the hardest working people I've, I've out there, and they view uh, Native American Indians as uh as savages and and um and crazies. You know what I'm saying? So you have no look. So with all these things in mind and knowing what they kind what kind of demons. I mean, this woman Hillary Clinton then called black people predators. Now, all okay? right. All right, black men predators. This this dude Donald Trump done talked all kinds of shit about how much he hate his his least favorite uh Mexicans are Puerto Ricans. You know, dumb shit like that. Um uh, he's gonna deport Mexicans out of here. He's going to aid, you know, uh the pipeline down there in North Dakota and further oppress the Native Americans. You know what I'm saying? And further put hell. You already got drones with mounted guns out there fighting a group of people that you, you know, our people that has been rape, robbed, and pillaged of our land. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, all these things given in, you know, taken into account, you have no incentive to vote. You have every incentive to separate and deal and deal and come together with your own people. That's just simple logic. But, you know, because our people suffer from a very, um powerful symptom known as Stockholm syndrome. Not just you Negroes, but also the indigenous people of the of North Central and South America as well. This in the slaves that came on the car ones that are descend that can descent that are descendants of the people that came on cargo slave ships. You know what I'm saying? It's this is you know what I'm saying they're still gonna vote. They still believe that their vote matters, even though the electoral vote is the only, only one that matters, okay? The ones where all these deciding governments of these different states are the ones that decide everything, not the popular vote, all right? Now, let me go ahead and bring the scripture out. This is Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 14. When thou art come unto the land which the Lord Yahweh, thy God, giveth thee and shall possess it, and shall dwell there, Salak, and shall dwell therein, 
and shall say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me. All right. Now, we're not in our homeland. We're not in our motherland. We're in the land of our captivity, America, Baba. All right. In the ancient Hebrew, Baba, uh, the virgin daughter of Babylon, Babylon the Great. All right. Okay. We're in our greatest captivity, you know, to date. All right. We're in the uh, 12th. We're in the, the last leg of the Roman Empire. Last toes of the Roman Empire, for that matter. Okay, on that statue that Daniel saw in, the, in Daniel's the second chapter. All right, verse 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him a king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. Run, one from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over over thee and that brethren is talking about your, your own flesh and blood brethren romans 9 and romans the ninth chapter okay you deal with that chapter uh paul said my kinsmen my brethren according to the flesh you know what i'm saying i'm gonna actually get that real quick and i'm gonna come back to the scripture you know just for any simple-minded cats who who that's what the apostles Christ and the apostles were sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, according to the flesh. Okay. Let me get this. Romans chapter 9. Verse 3. All right. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 3. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Verse 4, who are Israelites, who to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. All right. So just like in this verse, I'm using this as a precept to, un to give you an understanding in the Old Testament, what this is talking about in Deuteronomy 17 and 15. You know what I'm saying? Just, just for someone that's simple out there all right now i'm gonna read i'm gonna reread this verse thou shalt in any wise send him a king over thee whom the lord thy god shall choose one from among thy brethren okay according to the flesh according to the seed line of jacob abraham isaac and jacob 12 tribes of the nation of israel all right one from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee thou mayest not set a stranger over thee which is not thy brother not thou mayest not set a stranger over thee which is not thy brother okay and this and you know these gentiles these heathens these damn edomite white devils are not our people okay they are this uh, seat line of satan they hate you they want to exterminate you negroes hispanics native indians Okay, so you have no business dealing according if you believe in the Bible and believe in the scriptures, use common sense. And hell, if you don't believe in the Bible, use common sense. Why would you want to put up a people that is not of your brethren, of your kinsmen, of your seed line to be king over you? That's that doesn't make sense. All right, but according to the scriptures, it makes absolutely no sense why any Israel Hebrew Israelite, okay. Not black Hebrew Israelites, Hebrew Israelites, all right, would do this. Do this stupid shit, all right? Okay, because you're either which way you're going to catch hell from either this white devil, this white devil, witch, dyke, you know, devilish woman, Hillary, or this retarded, dumb, idiotic white devil, uh, can't won't bust the grape ass dude um in in Trump doesn't matter they mean you no good all right I'm gonna close with this where's where is that uh twelve tribe chart okay not black Hebrew Israelites there's no such thing as a black Hebrew Israelite 
you're talking about blacks. There's only three. You only can name three black tribes on here. All right. But whatever. If you be a Negro, okay, the tribe of Judah, so-called Negro, all right, Benjamin, okay, so-called Negro, ben, Benjamin, the so-called West Indians, Jamaicans, Trinidadians, people from the Caribbean islands, Levi, ha the Haitian, Simeon, the Dominican, okay, Taino, Taino descent, Dominican, Z uh, Zebulon. Guatemala, the Panamanian Indian, the, who descend from the uh, the Mayans, the Mayan Empire, okay? Ephraim, the Taino Puerto Rican Indian. Manessa, the Arawak Cuban Indian, uh, Salak, the Arawak Cuban Indian. Gad, the North American Indian. Reuben, the Seminole Indian. Naphtali, the indigenous people of uh, Argentina and Chile. Asher, the indigenous people, and yeah, the indigenous people of Colombia, Venezuela, Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay, uh, Bolivia, Peru, um, you know, all them different provinces, man. If you're an indigenous pe uh, person, okay, from no from the northern part of of South America. Okay, go, if you're descended from the people of the Inca, Inca Empire, you're from the tribe of Asher. All right, Issachar, the descendants of the uh, Aztec, Aztec Indians, the Mexican. All of you people on this twelve tribe shine have no business taking a, taking part in this voting, or taking a part in voting for this election. Okay, according to the scripture. You are commanded by the Heavenly Father not to do that. All right. Now, with that said, I want to give all praises unto Yahweh Bachim Yahushai. Much love to the brothers and sisters in this truth, priest, as well as the priest, prophets, and elders pushing this truth out on the street, street corners and everywhere else for that matter. With that said, Shalom.